Which is the best AI tool for researchers? Is it Jenny AI, an incredibly popular AI tool that's been taking academia by the storm? Or SciSpace, an equally powerful and popular AI tool, especially known for being able to do the literature review very, very quickly. In this video, I'm going to compare the two tools and give you a no-nonsense review of Jenny AI and SciSpace to see which tool is better for you as a PhD student or a researcher. Now, if you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkovek and I run Academic English Now, where we help PhD students and researchers write and publish papers in Scopus Index journals. So, first of all, um, when it comes to signing up on, on these two tools, both are free to get started, but straight away you can see a difference. SciSpace, you don't actually need to log in or create an account or give your credit card number or anything like it. You can start your research straight away. Whereas with Jenny, you have to um, log in uh, and create an account. So I'm going to do, uh, to do this right now. And you have the links to try these softwares for free uh, in the description to this video and the discount codes for both of these software are also uh, there in case you choose the paid plans. Let's start with the first big difference between these two tools. Jenny is just a writing tool. And I say just, um, but it actually has a lot of cool writing features. Whereas SciSpace can do so much more than just write. SciSpace allows you to chat with PDFs, which basically means, and I'll show you that in a second, you can upload a PDF and then ask chat SciSpace questions about it and extract, extract information. Uh, you can also do a literature review, so you can search through peer-reviewed journals, databases, and find the information that you're looking for. Uh, it also has a writing module, so same as uh, Jenny. Uh, you can find concepts, paraphrase, citation generation, extract data. Um, it's got an AI uh, detector as well. So it can do way more than Jenny um, can do. But let's first start with um, the um, AI writer and let's compare the two, uh, the two AI writers in here. So I'll open up a new document um, in here and then I'll tell Jenny what I'm writing about. So I already prepared a prompt in here. You, you want to make sure that the prompt is as detailed as possible. It contains details such as the type of the text that you're writing, is it a research paper, a chapter for your PhD thesis, um, what is it about, what's the aim of that work, um, how long should it be, what elements do you think should be included, and so on. And then I'll click on start um, writing. And then um, in SciSpace, where you want to go is, is, the, um, is the writing module, and it will open this. And then in the plus icon, uh, you want to uh, build an outline, first of all, okay? So you click on Outline Builder, okay? And then, um, and then you give it to uh, SciSpace. In Jenny, what you would do is you would go to the chat button and then send it to Jenny. So you can see, um, we'll accept it here, okay? And you can see the outline generated by SciSpace, okay? Um, the outline is much more basic than what Jenny uh, generates because SciSpace just says introduction to the study, the context and importance of X, Y, and Z, but it doesn't really tell you what else you should include in the introduction. On the other hand, like look how detailed this is in Jenny and it tells you how many words. So first of all, we contextualize the study, but it doesn't just tell you that, it tells you what that actually means and what you should start with. So when it comes to the outline, like this is way ahead of where SciSpace is at the moment when it comes to generating the outline. Just look at how detailed this is. And also what it does here immediately is to pull papers from my library. Uh, and I'll show you the library feature both in Jenny and SciSpace in just a second, okay? But you can already see it's, uh, it's pulling it from, from my library. So it actually already gives you references for certain things, at least the things that it can find, okay? And then what I would need to do with Jenny is just uh, add to document here, boom, I've added it, okay? So Jenny definitely wins when it comes to outline uh, builders, okay? And what, what you can also tell SciSpace to do is to actually generate 
um, a text like you can write an introduction or write a conclusion and I've just done it um, here unfortunately this isn't very good um, at all because you can see it's even just one paragraph an introduction to a research paper is not one paragraph it's actually what Jenny generated here that would be an introduction of course we would have to expand those ideas that Jenny has here but this is this is not good at all uh, this is not how an introduction to a research paper um, should be written now what other features does the AI writer module in Jenny and SciSpace have well you can for example select a text I'm going to select the entire um, the entire thing in here and then you get the AI writer and then you can do different things like uh, improve fluency you can paraphrase it simplify it make longer you can even translate it and you can also fix the grammar okay and then from this selection you could also write opposing arguments and write with more depth or summarize it um, as well and Jenny can pretty much do all of the same things. So if we go to um, AI commands, it can improve fluency, paraphrase, simplify, make longer, translate, summarize and write opposing argument. So um, the, same, the same features and I've tested them pretty much the same accuracy um, as well. Um, between SciSpace and, um, and Jenny. One, one thing that SciSpace does that Jenny does not have is this fix grammar uh, where it allows you to you know, put in your text and then it will just improve the language and Jenny does not have this feature. So I think here there's a small win for SciSpace um, as well. And then what you can also do is you can cite um, so if you go here, select a text, then you will see this icon to cite. And then um, what SciSpace does really well is that you can switch between all suggestions or just your library. So all the text that you've uploaded to your library, okay? And then SciSpace papers. So basically all the papers and journal publications available in academic databases that SciSpace has access to, and then you can cite them. And then a the cool thing as well is that you can then open that paper in a new tab um, right here and then start reading that paper to get more information about it, okay? To, of course, verify if that's a good paper to be cited. On the other hand, with Jenny, you can, you can um, cite um, as well, okay? And you can also refer to text from your library or you can go to the Discover feature, okay? And find suggested uh, text by Jenny. And both tools as well allow you to search through the citation. So you can you can put a um, you can put a keyword that you're interested in and then either discover or um, go to the go to the library. And the same thing can be done um, here. And then it will start searching for the um, for the results. So here it's a it's a tie, uh, very similar features when it comes to um, citing things. So um, in terms of the writing mode, I think Jenny is slightly better. But overall, I think you will see in a second that the clear winner overall as an overall tool that you would want to use is SciSpace. Why? Well, because it allows you to do everything else that you need to do as a as a researcher. Uh, before and during writing a paper, which is doing the literature review, right? So if you just go to the literature review part in here, you can start searching for information um, in SciSpace. And you don't even have that anywhere in Jenny. So Jenny, the only thing that it allows you to do is to upload sources into your library and then try to refer to those sources um, in your text or to ask Jenny questions about, you know, about different things and Jenny might be able to refer to those sources, okay? But it's only the text that you upload. Now, on the other hand, what happens here is that we type in a question and then we get a summary from the top um, five papers. I'll make it full screen so now you can see the true power of um, SciSpace in here, okay? And it can summarize in bullet points the insights from um, those papers right in here okay and then you can select other columns as well uh, you've got future research objectives you can add columns from here you can create a new column and SciSpace is extracting information in bullet points 
about those papers. So just think about how much time this is actually going to save you when it comes to doing uh, research while writing papers and so on. And then you could chat with that individual paper and ask um, AI questions about it. For example, let's see if there are any novel methodologies um, in here. And what I like is that it already provides you, you know, the most common questions that you could ask um, AI about this particular um, document. What you can also do is um, go to your library, okay, and you can upload PDFs in here and then chat with all of those PDFs. So a huge advantage of that is that you're not just chatting with one document, but you're chatting with um, all the documents that you uh, select from your, uh, from your library. So let me just uh, select all of them again. Um, and then um, I will go to Copilot. I will ask, go ask Copilot in here, and then I'll ask a question. And it's going to ask 45 items. And since these are PDFs, um, SciSpace has can read all those PDFs and get, you know, so you're getting accurate information. So imagine you're writing a paper and you're missing a crucial piece of information and you no longer remember which paper contained that information. Okay. Or for example, you want to know what are the limitations of these uh, studies. So because you're writing a literature review and you want to critique the previous paper. So you've uploaded them to SciSpace and now you ask what are the limitations of um, these studies and then SciSpace will summarize limitations in this case from 45 uh, different items. And the cool thing is that it uh, it's actually referring to those papers. So you can see the reference in here and then you could open that paper and read it further to verify if that is actually accurate. And you can see all that um, in here. So I think that's that's a fantastic um, feature as well of SciSpace that um, Jenny doesn't um, have. Now, aside from the literature review, what you can also do is find um, concepts. So this allows you to, to extract certain specific concepts like efficient materials for solar panel, main causes of economic recessions, interventions for treating depression. And SciSpace is going to analyze hundreds of thousands of papers uh, published in peer-reviewed journals and get that for you. So again, just picture this, you're, you're writing a paper and you know you need to define a particular concept. You need to find more information um, about that particular concept. Well, now with SciSpace, you don't have to break your reading, break your writing session for two hours to go and read 50 papers. You can have that information at your fingertips. Just, just look at this, okay? And it gives you all the different therapies, right? So we asked about effective interventions for treating depression, okay? And you've got these interventions right in here. And then you've got more information about them, and you also have references in here, so you can go and read that paper. So this is another fantastic feature that SciSpace has that Jenny doesn't. So another point for SciSpace in here. And um, I think another great thing that SciSpace does is the AI detector. So in here, Okay, uh, Jenny used to have this feature, uh, but they seem to have taken it away and you can no longer check whether a text um, will pass AI detectors or not. With SciSpace, you can do it right here. Um, and when I asked Jenny, well, they just said that, you know, AI detection changes and things like that. And I, of course I understand it and AI detection evolves and, and turn it in evol evolves and all that, but just having it here in this one tool on SciSpace, I think it's fantastic because you've just written a text, okay? And then you can paste it here and then it gives you an AI detection report. You could even upload a PDF. So if you've written a text somewhere else, you can upload it here to uh, check. And then it gives you a report, okay? It tells you how much uh, human written text um, is there, okay? And then it shows you which part of the text um, need to be changed or which part of the text are likely to be flagged as AI um, uh, as AI generated and it tells you even how serious that is from low AI to moderate AI. So again, a 
more points for, for site space here because Jenny doesn't have that uh, feature. It's a shame, in my opinion, that they um, took it away. So um, all in all, I think when it comes to um, just writing, Jenny might be just slightly ahead just because of the outline generator. Um, outline generator is the only kind of big advantage of Jenny uh, that SciSpace does not have. But all in all, I would definitely put my money on SciSpace because it does a fantastic job when it comes to the writing um, module. It can do almost everything that Jenny can do. Um, and then it also has a fantastic literature review uh, mode where you can chat with the PDFs that you've uploaded to your library and other uh, papers and find relevant papers. So definitely a clear winner um, is SciSpace in here. And if you want to use the paid plans on SciSpace or on Jenny, the discount code, uh, codes and the links are in the description to this video. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, but you would like to work with human experts to help you to publish papers in top Scopus Index journals, then schedule a free one-to-one -one consultation with our expert advisors. We're going to sit down with you for an hour, talk to you one-to-one -one and really identify the challenges that you're currently facing when it comes to writing papers and will identify your goals and then come up with a personalized plan that allows you to achieve those goals faster. And the link to schedule that one-to-one -one consultation is right below this video.